Welcome to a new week of The Rundown. On this episode, interim guidance on transgender policy has been released, and SecNav is seeking innovative sailors. Effective October 1st, transgender sailors could begin the process to officially change their gender in our personnel administrative system in accordance with DOD and service policy. In order for sailors to transition genders, they must receive a diagnosis from a military medical provider indicating that gender transition is medically necessary and develop a transition plan approved by their commanding officer. The transition plan must include the individual sailor's medical treatment plan and must take into consideration both the desires of the individual and the operational requirements of the command. During the transition process, service members shall comply with all standards of the gender marker currently in the Navy Personnel Administrative System, DEERS. The NAV admin details the procedures for sailors to transition genders and identifies several policy changes. There will be new modesty policy to allow for increased privacy in birthing, shower and head facilities, adjustments to language in the urinalysis program, and adding gender identity to the Military Equal Opportunity Program. After careful review of the Physical Readiness Program, it was determined that no change was needed to the current policy that standards remain the same for all sailors. Training will be provided to commands starting in November. Commands will be provided DVDs, training materials, a facilitation guide, a commanding officer's toolkit, along with the DOD handbook on transgender service to help sailors understand gender transitions. For units in remote training areas that may not have access to face-to-face -face training, there will be webinars for triads to ask questions prior to delivering training to their command. Training should be complete for all active duty sailors no later than January 31, 2017 and April 30, 2017 for reserve sailors. Check out our story on Navy.mil for more on the policy update, including phone numbers and emails to ask your questions, links to the Transgender Handbook, and the SEALS Toolkit. Also, on Navy Live, you can read the 10 things you need to know on the Transgender Policy Update. The blog looks to answer your questions while providing additional links, resources, and information. Check out the blog by visiting the Navy Live homepage. Finally, SecNav is seeking innovative sailors to apply for the 2016 SecNav Innovation Award. The award recognizes sailors who have made achievements in one of eight categories. Some of those categories include innovation leadership, technology development, innovation scholar, and enlisted innovator. Commands are encouraged to nominate their best sailors who display innovation at their command. The deadline to submit is December 31st, and winners will be announced in March 2017. Personnel can complete a nomination form by visiting secnav.navy.mil slash innovation. Read the story on navy.mil for more information. Well, that's all for this week. For any questions, send us a message at usnpeople.fct at navy.mil. For the Chief of Naval Personnel, I'm Petty Officer 2nd Class L.J. Burleson. Thanks for watching.